Start off by introducing yourself to the patient and identifying their correct details. Ensure you gain consent for the examination. Good morning. Uh, My name is Dr Gormley and your name is? Uh, George. George. Um, today what I'd like to do is examine your abdomen and that will ask me to uh, remove your t-shirt uh, and place a hand on your tummy if that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Remember to wash your hands and cleanse your stethoscope. Have your patient adequately exposed their abdomen? Okay, so can I ask you to remove your t-shirt? Okay, I'm just going to take one of these pillows away from your back as well. Ideally, position the patient flat on the couch with their arms by their sides. And if I could ask you just to keep your arms at your side. Is that okay? Now inspect the abdomen for any abnormalities, including scars, distension or abnormal movements. Okay, are you sore anywhere in your abdomen? No. no. If you experience any discomfort, make sure to tell me. Superficially palpate the patient's abdomen in all nine areas. Now palpate deeper in all nine areas. And a little deeper. Ensure you observe the patient for any signs of discomfort. Prior to palpating for the lower edge of the liver, ask the patient to inspire every time you place your hand on the abdomen. Progress to the right subcostal margin. Can I ask you to roll slightly on your right? And again, deep breath in every time. Now palpate for the presence of the lower edge of the spleen from the right iliac fossa to the left subcostal margin. Now let you roll back. Now by manually examine for any enlarged kidney. Now percuss for the lower edge of the liver. Start by percussing in the right iliac fossa and making your way up to the right subcostal margin. Next percuss for the lower edge of the spleen. Start by percussing in the right iliac fossa and making your way up to the left subcostal margin. Percuss from the midline to the flanks for any fluid levels. Now auscultate the abdomen for bowel signs and any potential bruits. When examining the abdomen, the examiner should always consider examining the groins, genitalia and performing a digital rectal examination.